Our 2012 CES coverage is powered by Ford. Patrick Norton for Texilla at CES 2012. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the Seagate booth, and I'm excited. Why? Mementus XT. You know this product, right? A whole bunch of NAND flash, insider traditional drives. So you get learning behavior. It caches your boot up information, other drive information, all of your data information into a big chunk of cache on the hard drive. So you get a huge traditional hard drive with SSD style performance with a really, really low price. Q, CES 2012. We got a new Mementus XT, 750 gigabytes with 8 gigabytes of SLC NAND flash. And they're claiming one and a half times performance of existing Mementos XD drives. This is good. We're talking about like taking a 80 second boot time, cutting it down to like 20 seconds. That is very, very good. Existing Mementos XT drives, you're looking at maybe cutting that boot time in fast. I like this. You know what I like better? Seagate's not really talking about it yet, but how about the idea of in the future being able to customize what exactly gets cached on the NAND flash inside that drive? So, you hear that? You hear that out there? That's the Photoshop guys and the Final Cut guys. The ladies and the men out there are using the big files weeping because they might be able in the future to customize what exactly gets rolled into that cache. They're not worried about rebooting in 15 seconds, but they're worried about opening a 10 gigabyte file as quick as they can. This is really cool. By the way, MacBook users, no fear. Any firmware issues with Mementos XD are long in the past solved with Apple. The drive streets at $230. It's available now, and I want one. Next up, GoFlex Satellite. You may be saying, hey, that's not a new product at CES. It's $199. It's 500 gigabytes. If you haven't seen it, it's really cool. The idea is that, hey, you don't have enough storage on your tablet or your phone. 500 gigabytes and a Wi-Fi connection. Here's what's new at CES. March firmware updates actually going to allow you to bridge Wi-Fi, which means you can connect Wi-Fi to the GoFlex and to your local internet connection, which means you can stream, you can browse, you can play on the internet and still have your content streaming up to three people at a time, which is very, very cool. And you know what? I'm gonna try to put one of these in my truck and solve my giant music database problem. Next up, all right, you got a Mac, you got Thunderbolt, you want that 3X FireWire 800 performance, you want 10X USB 2.0 performance, but you gotta buy a big, fat, expensive multi-drive bay. Not anymore as of this morning. Check out Seagate, the GoFlex with Thunderbolt adapter. We've showed off GoFlex before. We tell you about the adaptable interface. You can actually power the two and a half inch drive off of the Thunderbolt connection. It's gonna be after the end of the change, but this is a $99 adapter that brings your drive to your machine. Next up, GoFlex Desk Thunderbolt Adapter, $189. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. You've got the connection, and you're going to get fast, fast, fast speeds to your system, or at least as fast as your rotating media drive can go, because at this point, the drive is the gating factor on performance, not the interface that connects it to your computer. Excellent. All right, one last thing before we leave the Seagate booth, USM Universal Storage Module. You love the idea of GoFlex, right? You can pop off the interface, pop on a new interface, for example, Thunderbolt that we just talked about. I think that one's a little empty, but we'll talk about that later. The idea is, though, Seagate took it to SAT.io, released the IP, and now you're going to have all kinds of different devices that are actually compatible with this. For example, Lenovo K4 desktop slot in the front, and unlike certain insertable hard drives you've seen from other vendors in the past, multiple vendor support, an open format, so there should be a lot of these drives going off into the future. I like it. Imagine, say, you've got a digital camera system that's monitoring in the back of your house. You pull the drive out of that, you plug it in your computer, you copy your data, you're done. It's easy, it's painless, it's open. I like open. Hey, you know what else I like? Revision 3's coverage at CES. Revision3.com slash CES. We've got all the best new gear from CES from all of our technology partners at Revision 3. Do me a favor, check out the site. Brake Coach found in the Focus Electric's instrument cluster screen helps you optimize the use of the cars for generative brakes. It displays a graphic that lets you know how much energy is captured every time you stop so you can make adjustments to help maximize your range. Thanks to Ford for sponsoring Techzilla's CES coverage.